Hello everybody, welcome back once again to the Octopath Traveler walkthrough. Alright, so um, we're starting out here. This is uh, this is post Hanit chapter 4. Um, I've already uh, taken a look here around town, but Zanta had that battle-tested bow, which is, you know, amazing. I'm um, just kind of checking the rest of these people in town here. Yeah, nothing here. <coughs> We're done here. So, um, <clears throat> the first step, uh, or the first spot that I'm going to uh, to go to, I've lost my place. Okay, so we need to go back to Marcelin, uh and do. There's actually a few things that we can do here. Uh, namely, the the quest that I haven't done yet. Uh, but also, there's some other other stuff here apparently in town now too. Um. <clears throat> Where's this guy at? Oh, here we are. All right. So here's a couple of guys that uh, are, you know, here now after Hanit's um, chapter four. Uh, so here's the exotic garb. Uh, this is the. This is an, a kind of interesting one. I mean, it restores SP after every action, right? Which is a little interesting, but um, honestly, it restores so little that it's not really good for a lot of the characters. Um, well, maybe I shouldn't say that. Maybe that's not entirely accurate. It, it's just it, it's not gonna it's not gonna do enough to to keep you kind of going. Uh, if that makes sense. I suppose if you're using really, really cheap uh, abilities every turn, then maybe uh, that, that'll, that you know, keep you kind of in an okay spot as far as uh, SP goes. But, you know, somebody like Therion just, even with the, with the dragon scarf on him, uh, it's just not enough. And, uh, and then on top of that, also, you know, the exotic garb doesn't have elemental attack on it. And so, I'll be honest, I think that, um, the, the exotic garb is okay and just okay for more physical oriented characters right because we don't we're not really worried about losing the elemental attack like from the sorcerer's robe here uh, on somebody like that right so um you know maybe like an ulbrick that would be an okay uh, piece of gear on but uh other than that i i don't think it's that great but, um let's see here so general lenar here's got a robe of flame which has really, really good elemental defense. And then he's got the Emperor's Blade here, which is pretty interesting. Physical attack 251 and then 100 accuracy. That's a pretty decent amount of accuracy for a sword. Uh, maybe I should say it's just a, a decent amount of accuracy for a piece of gear in general, but... Um, okay, so no... Or nothing really interesting as far as scrutinize goes. Let's check upstairs here. It's not looking like there's anybody else um, new here. So let's, uh, let's get uh, Okay, nobody in here. Okay, let's head down here and we'll do these quests. Um, I, I could have swore I did these. Maybe maybe that's on one of the the earlier videos, and then Listen. I, um, you know, I, I probably redid the way I. I was doing quests at some point, and so maybe that's why I don't have these done, but either way. Uh, anyways, please, stranger, would you listen to a request from a prisoner who is shortly to be put to death? I once had a woman I loved, a woman called Lara. I suppose her name means nothing to you, but before I die, I need to know whatever happened to her, please. All right, so this is, uh, looks like Lara's new life. I've already got that uh, information. I don't know where I got that from, though, so give me one second here. Okay, so this is, um, this quest is called The Prisoner's Plea. And the information apparently that we need to get here is over in Grandport. So let's head on over here. Um, let's see here. Should be in this next area. Uh, 
is it her? Yep, this is Lara. Alright. Uh, lives with her family in a grandpa where her husband serves as commander of the garrison and enjoys bringing him and his men homemade sweets from time to time. One might say they are the very picture of the perfect husband and wife. Oh, so she moved on? Wait, what? What? I'm confused. I still find myself wondering where he is now, what he might be doing. Oh, okay, wait, so... I'm confused. Can you, and you can't bring her to him? That seems weird. Let me see. I'm, I'm going to do that anyway, just for fun. It seems very strange that you can't bring her to the guy. Oh, travel banter. That seems so random. Why am I getting weird? Oh, All right, shall we dance? Ah, how relaxing. A fine tavern, wouldn't you say? Indeed, the spirits are excellent and all the better in the company of such lovely women. <laughs> Excuse me? It's not very professor. Professional. Professional. Professor. Wow, that's a tongue twister. It isn't? Oh, forgive me. Tell me, Primrose, thou has danced in taverns before. Yes, that's right. I cannot imagine dancing in front of anyone, let alone drunken strangers. Truth be told, I envy thy talent and the joy that thou dost surely feel. I dare say Primrose brings a lot of joy to her audience as well. By the time she's taken a few steps, she has the entire room under her spell. Heh. <laughs> you have a way with words, Professor. Perhaps we could all dance together next time. Hmm. Oh! Picked out by Primrose, star of the stage would be an honor indeed. Here it may not come to me easily. Oh, it's simple enough. You just need to listen to the music and move in time with it. You don't have to be perfect or anything, just enjoy yourself. You truly believe so? Well, I, for one, am game. Nothing ventured, as they say. Ha, splendid. May I have this dance? Um, oh, sorry, a little like this? And one, and two, and um, three, is this right? <laughs> Gods have mercy. Watching these two is like watching despair in motion. What sayest thou, Primrose? Um, oh, well, I know. Let's have another drink. This is a tavern, after all, not a dance hall. Told thee, did I not? Yes, quite, maybe. There's something to be said for sticking with what you know, eh? <coughs> maybe. Alright, let's uh let's try this out here. I really want to Oops. No, let's do let's go with uh Oops. Let's go with Ophelia. <coughs> Oops, excuse me. Okay, let's head on over here. In the shot. Oh, you can't guide her even. Okay. Okay, well, I guess that answers that question. Alright, let's head back to Marceline then. Yeah, that's really strange. I suppose maybe because is that supposed to be her kid there on the beach with her? <laughs> it would probably be pretty lame to uh, to guide her away from her kid. Okay, Listen. let's finish this. Share what we know. Huh? You found Laura? Please, you must tell me everything. Haha, so she did. Got married and even went and had a kid, huh? Of course she did. A woman like that gets snatched up in no time. She had no reason to hang around waiting for a fool who's thrown away everything. I was a weak man. Once I strayed off the path of what's right and good, and I can't seem to find my way back to it. <clears throat> I was once a guardsman in a certain town, but I had a problem with taking wagers I couldn't win, ended up in debt, and eventually right here. I was out of control. I even lost myself, Lara, when all she ever did was worry over me. No, I didn't lose her. I ran away and left her. And all I did from the day I left her was get deeper and deeper into trouble. Kevin, time to go. Get on out of here. Yeah, I know. Don't ever become like me. Regret always comes too late. But you know, glad I at least got to find out about Lara. I'm glad I can meet my end knowing that she's happy. <laughs> she is. Thank you.
Revitalizing Jam. Okay, that is a very lame reward, but um, that's how it goes. Okay, so let's head back into the southern part of Marceline here, and uh, I guess we'll just do this quest here, huh? Ah, so this is Rhea. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, Jesus. <laughs> wow. Must meet with a certain chieftain who is here visiting this town, but our meeting must remain a secret. Must do what I can to discover his unusual, or usual habits, sorry. Uh, then corner him at a time when I know he is usually alone. Well, that was my intention, but the situation is complicated. I mustn't reveal myself too soon. Do you think you could assist me? Could you try to find out his daily habits? I promise that once everything has come to a rightful conclusion, I will explain all. So please, while I know I am asking too much of you, I must beg you, please help me. Oh, yeah, so this was the chieftain's schedule. So, um... <coughs> Excuse me. Um, where was this guy at? The chieftain. Chieftain schedule. Man, and I just got that, too. Okay, yeah, so this was, um... Uh, the east wing of... The palace up here. Um... Is that over here? No. Was it this guy up top? Yeah, okay. It's that guy. Okay. So there you have it. That is the, um... <clears throat> Jesus. Let's get out of here. Uh, that is the information that we need to complete this quest. Share what you know. Okay. So the chief frequents such a place. It seems we might still be in time to catch him there. Would you would you perhaps consider coming with me? Yeah, let's do it. Let's go shake him down. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Do I have the pleasure of speaking with the chief of Sunshine? Hmm. What are you to interrupt me when I am at my leisure, you? <laughs> you. Your Highness? Please forgive me for not introducing my sooner. Yes, I am Gloria. Ah, uh, Rhea. Uh, Gloria. Uh, daughter to King Kalim. Uh, though at present I am as a traveler and nothing more. Right, trouble to your guards, doubtless. Did you sneak off alone to undertake this journey, hoping to disguise your identity? So I did. It has been a good journey, and I have learned much while visiting the desert town. Towns. I've learned, for example, of your scandalous behavior here. Oh my. Scandalous? What proof do you have of any such thing? I have all the proof that I should need in this letter. I trust that it looks familiar to you. You audacious, overstepping chit of a girl. What does that mean? Chit of a girl? Oi! Am my way, you lowlifes? Don't you know who I am? No, you are the one who should cease this shameless act, sir. Rawr. Utilizing the pleasure quarter to launder money, bribing others to your own advantage, and using people as though they were no more than slaves. This is too much to overlook, sir. I will be taking this evidence to my father. I hope you are prepared for what is to come. Rhea's a bit of, uh, of a J uh, Silk Fox. That was it, right? Was it Silk Fox or was it Jade Fox? Silk Fox, I think, from, uh, from Jade Empire. I, I only... When I was not chosen as king of the Great Assembly, it, it was such a shock, and if that was the case, all that you should have done is wait for the next Great Assembly. The Great Assembly is not held in secret. All you had to do was come and plead your case before the assembled chiefs. It, it's not as simple as you make it out to be. If it were so, I wouldn't have needed to resort to such things. Mm hmm. Okay. I have been traveling the desert to find proof of the chief's actions. It was largely thanks to your assistance that I was able to succeed. I will never forget this journey, or you. Getting to know kind people like you has been the greatest joy I have discovered on my journey. Thank you. No, no, thank you. Alright, so that is it. I think that's the final quest there, too, in the in the series there, of the Rhea 
Born to Roam. Um, and that gives us the princess coat. Uh, I don't remember what this does. It's very funny, though, that males can equip this, too. Uh, physical defense 136, elemental 155, and then restores HP after every action. I don't know if that's any good. It's probably not. I generally haven't been impressed by the, you know, the restoration, uh, or the HP restoration, like, our auto HP restoration. Like, it just gets to a point where you've got so much health that you know, a hundred health just isn't really worth it, and it would be better to, you know, probably equip something else. All right, so this looks like this is going to be the last one here. So this is the old aristocrat. I lived my whole life now, enjoying every pleasure to be had in this land. I've seen every beautiful work of art, listened to the best orchestras, tasted the finest meals. Yet of late, I find myself wearying of such things. Is there nothing left for me to discover in this world? There must be something that no one else has seen yet. I cannot be finished yet. Um, <clears throat> all right, so this is uh, Tales from a Foreign Land. Let's, um, one sec here. Tales from a... Um, no, that's not it. So this is the old Please. aristocrat? Yeah. Okay, um, so there is apparently two ways to finish this. Let's, um, let's go back to Grand Port here. Um, right, is it this guy? Oops, nope, this is the wrong thing, not scrutinized. It's gonna be steel. Yeah, okay, so here's one of the uh, the items that you can use to, to, to finish this. So it's Tales from a Faraway Land. Um, I don't think I'm going to go that route. I think I'm going to do the other option, which is to take Ulbrich and beat up this guy's bodyguard. So let's go do that. Go back to Marston here. Oh boy, do I want to... Yeah, let's just... Let's just go with Scholar. I don't want to... Um, <clears throat> I don't want to bother swapping over... Uh... Oh, ooh, I may have to. Yeah, this it's could be nasty. Um, <clears throat> I, don't, I don't really want to do this with... With uh, 40k, dude. Um, with scholar here, but um, let's just see how this goes. Oh yeah, I don't, I don't think I want to duel with this. I think I'm gonna have to swap to. Uh... <coughs> yeah, swap. All right, let's let's bail later. I don't, I just don't want to. Do this. This is not. That's not a good enough uh, setup, in my opinion, to to do. All right. Let's see. How's our equipment looking? Not great. Um. Probably need to do either an axe with a lot of. I have already forgotten what uh, his vulnerabilities are. I may have to uh, bail on him one more time. Let's just see here. So what I what I need here is a. Uh, I need to be able to take advantage of his uh, vulnerabilities and still do really good damage. Um, spear staff. Okay, so I need to I need to I need to have a better spear. I'll have to grab one from somebody. Let's see here. Nope. Dang it. Ugh. Okay. Let's, uh, let's go rob, uh, I think it was Hunnit that had the, the really good spear. Um, equipment. Yep. Alright. Oh, 
There we go. <clears throat> Oops, I uh did actually chill. It's a good day for that. How much? Right. Oh, the dark room. Conjure that darkness. Boom. The bat out of my way. Out of my way. <laughs> so good. What a joke. Get it. Get it, son. All right. Yeah, that was. That's the way to do it. Okay. Ugh. Oh, ho, ho, what is this, Yuri? Never before have I seen you bested in battle. Sorry you had to see such a disgraceful performance, my lord. Not at all. Your skill with the sword is a gift from the gods. I saw nothing shameful in your part of the battle. Is that how you would describe my defeat, my lord? I would not choose such words myself. My boy, what is this new obstinacy in you? I've never known you to be so bothered over a thing. All the time we've been together, you have shown so little interest in any of the wonders we have seen, but there's fire in you now. <laughs> I apologize if it offends you, my lord. <clears throat> my defeat is in, in effect your defeat. I am your man, after all, unless you should choose to release me now. It is a wonder you can ever sit with such unbending pride you have. <laughs> choose I chose you to be my bodyguard because I have faith in your skill. You have saved my life a dozen times, and I entrust my life to you still. You, you are too generous with your praise, my lord. I'm the one who was saved by you when you chose a nam nameless swordsman like myself to be your personal guard. I'm going to train harder than I ever have before to better protect my lord in every situation. Why, this is the first time I've heard such a declaration from you. I am honored, sir, by your loyalty. <clears throat> Glad I've had the chance to hear how my man truly feels about serving me. Thank you for providing him with such a worthy battle. All right, and there we get another alluring ribbon. Are you serious? <laughs> God, why? I mean, one of them in the game is already too many, but to put four of them in? I mean, unless I'm missing something. I, I guess maybe that's possible, but I mean, those are just not good. So that is very funny. <laughs> okay, weird. So apparently, actually, I may not be able to, to find this NPC yet. I just had to look it up. Um, I just read a comment here on the, one of the pages that says uh, she shows up actually here in the Whisper Mill, but um, but only after you've completed all eight of the, the Chapter 4. So uh, if that's the case, then she's not going to be here now either. Because I still need to finish two of the... Ah, chapter 8 plus. Why would she be here, though? That seems very strange. But, yeah, whatever. She's not here yet. So, Alright, All right, so uh, here's another um, uh, weapon, I suppose, that is... Uh, has now just popped up. Dang it. I have to go get... Um, go get... Elfin. Am I? Oh gosh! Dang it. I always forget the the inn actually, or the uh, the tavern actually is in the southern part of this town. Yeah, it's down here. All right, let's see this again. So again, this is um, you know going to be a an item that's available after having completed Hunnits Chapter Four. Looks like that's when this guy pops up. Um, yeah, Alaic. So this is the Legion Dagger. Um, you know, not that great of physical attack. That's a lot of evasion, though. Um, 
So that's something. Uh, and then I'll have to do his, uh, his quest here as well. Let's get this started. Hey, are you okay? Lick, please forgive me. I was attacked by bandits and my goods were stolen. deliver them to Susanna too. <clears throat> Never mind that, I'll get them back. Alright, so that thus begins the tale of it again with a lick. Um, I, uh, I think I'm actually gonna swap Elfin back out here for Ulbrich again. Um, so, oh. wait, what? Maybe. All right, let's try this out. Here. I guess we actually need to bring. So he is in the arena gate. Okay. Oops. Oops. I don't know if um, I don't know if we're actually going to like battle him, but let's find out. <coughs> Excuse me. So it's, uh, apparently he's inside here in the arena. To go to the forest of no return. Uh, I think that's this way. Yeah, I was in the wrong. Okay, here we are. <sighs> okay. Is this him up here? Yeah, that's gotta be him. Flame, protect us! Been a long battle time. is truly joy. Later. All right, so let's just steal this viper dagger and the critical bracelet, and we will scrutinize him. All right, nothing impressive there. Hmm. You're the leader of these thieves. I guess you're with that merchant from earlier. Well, you've got perfect timing, friend. I was just looking for someone with something good to say. I don't think this one will listen to reason. I'll not be defeated. <laughs> Victory shall be mine. Stealing goes. That's funny. The battle is truly. I think not. Victory shall be. I think not. Well then. No, you will not. <laughs> no, you don't. Okay, that 
should be it. I'm in your debt. Can I tell you something? Susanna Grotoff, that is my mistress's true name, she was a famous scholar and the same woman these ingredients are for. She was started by an organization known as the Obsidians. I know because I was their chosen assassin for the job, my entire existence revolved around the deaths of others. I never once felt guilty for taking a life. I was a heartless killer and good at it, too. But when I tried to kill Susanna, I was stopped by a man named Zanta. Only death awaits an assassin who fails to eliminate a target, so, as were my orders, I drank the vial of poison in my pocket. But Susanna rescued me from death. When I could find the words, I asked her. Why did you save me? Do you know what she said? Sometimes children do reckless things, so it's up to those older than them to save them from themselves. It was then that I realized that she was right. I was nothing but a child. No, I wasn't even human. It was just a failure. I was nothing. I finally understood that then. And Susanna helped me see it. She didn't just save my life. She gave me another chance to be a human. I'm not yet done repaying that debt. I want to see her live a long and healthy life. You help me do that. I have my thanks. Oh, that's nice. All right, Primeval Bow of Storms. Um, all right, so that's going to be it for this one. Uh, as always, I hope the guide was helpful, and I hope you join me for more videos. Thanks for watching.